Hello, hello. Good. It's a good morning, eh? Yeah, it's afternoon already. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Until I hear everybody's voice, I will not stop. Good afternoon. afternoon. This is much better. (laughs) Okay, so we we already know why we are here. Um, I think that we've come to a very important part of the agenda that was uh, read to us by our General Secretary. We are here to speak about coaching and ultimately and ultimately to present to you our new trainers, especially for our senior most national team, the Black Stars. I think coaching is a very key part of the football ecosystem. And the Executive Council of our Football Association do take coaching very, very seriously. For which reason, when we started this journey, we've taken certain steps to ensure that we enhance the coaching capacity of our coaches here in Ghana. We started this story with the engagement of a new technical director in the person of Bernard Lepe, and the establishment of a fully functional technical directorate that will be responsible for all our training needs for our coaches in this country. Bernard is supported by Professor Minta, and ever since they took office, they have taken steps to ensure that we add value to our coaches here in Ghana. Among other things, they've had an elite training for all our national team coaches. The session was led by the much respected German tactician, Ridmuller. We've also started license D courses across the length and breadth of the country. We've started refresher courses for license A holders license B holders, and license C holders across the country. And pretty soon, we're going to come back with a calf license A, calf license B, calf license C, so that people in the industry who would want to pursue coaching will also have the opportunity to learn. Fast forward. We are here to talk about our black stars, most importantly. The new Tenkar team would have a head coach with two assistants. Both assistants are Ghanaians. And as part of our strategic plan to continuously improve coaching or coaches in this country, The Tenkar Director, it is a strategy that has the full blessing of the Minister of Youth and Sports. And together with the Minister of Youth and Sports, our coaches will be offered the opportunity to learn and to get more. To go into the market, headhunt for new men to lead our senior most national team, the Black Stars. We've gone through the process and we have our targets well secured. Coach Milovan, we all know already. He was in Ghana between the years 2008 and 2010. Perhaps those two years were the years Ghana achieved the most in association football. The years 2008-2010 saw Ghana go to the finals of the AFCON, saw Ghana go to the finals of the Chan, 
saw Ghana go to the quarterfinals of the World Cup, but for Suarez and Boston would have been in the semifinals. And in 2009, together with Salah Stete, we won the U20 World Cup in Egypt. Those were the glory years of Ghana football. And those years were masterminded by one person. We have finally been able to bring back here. Yes, we have played one game, we have played two games, one one and also one. Which makes our desire to go to the Mundial very, very challenging. But we believe that with the right strategy, with the right planning, with the right personnel, both technical and playing body, our black stars will be able to hit the target of Henry and qualify us to the Mundial. When we knew that Coach Milovan was available, <laughs> we're very sure that he, he is the right man for us. And from the work of the subcommittee, from the work of the council, and our engagement with the Minister of Leaders and Sports, we are happy that today Milovan Ryback is here with us. He has all the experience, he's seen it before, he's been there. And we believe that with the right levels of support from the Football Association and from your good selves, he together with the rest of the technical team will be able to deliver exactly what we want. Coach Milovan will be assisted by two able people, two able coaches who have also served Ghana at varied levels. And I'm happy to say that one of the two coaches is our own coach Maxwell Konedu. I think that if you want to talk about people who have the right level of quality, the temperament, who has been there, and who have the right level of the spirits to assist Coach Milovan, we believe that with Maxwell right by the side of Dilovan, our black stars will go places. Next to Milovan again will be Coach Coach Ado, who is currently a coach of Borussia Dortmund in Germany. And having worked with Hamburg, having worked with Dortmund, having played for Hanover, and having worked previously in 2013 with Ghana, Coach Otto is well placed to again and also assist. So we will have a new technical team led by Coach Willowman, assisted by Coach Maxwell Poledo and Coach Otto Hanu.
I'm very sure that you'll be more interested or perhaps you'll be interested in other details of this agreement. And I'll allow our General Secretary to speak to a few issues before Coach Miloban to address everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. So with the permission of the head coach and um, just to allay the I must say that this has been a, a very hard fought bargain. And so, even though normally we do not give the contractual details in terms of people's um, remuneration, we deem it appropriate to give some of the facts to our dear nation. Okay, so, so first of all, the tenure of the agreement is for a year, and if the coach is able to qualify us for the World Cup, the tenure automatically extends to the end of February 2023, meaning it will go to the World Cup and also take us to the following AFCON, which will be played in January to February 2023. Again, You will recall that the coach, when he was here previously, was paid in euros. So we maintained, we were able to negotiate to maintain the same amount, but this time in dollars, making a good bargain for the association. So the figure is. 30,000 US dollars instead of 30,000 euros in the past. Again, as we have it in all the other coaches' contracts, the milestones and the that we want to be achieved includes not only improvement of our, our, our team, but qualification to the World Cup, which is very key for us, and of course, winning of the AFCON. And indeed, as we have it in all the previous contracts, if the coach is able to achieve by qualifying us to the World Cup, he stands to be entitled to a sum of 300,000 US dollars. Again, unlike the previous one where we had 375. Of course, winning the AFCON, which is dear to our hearts, the coach would also be entitled to the same amount, and all these amounts are in dollars and not euros.
also we have a clause which talks about agency. I know it's something that comes up every time. This time we have it in the contract. It talks about no agents involved. So in these negotiations, the coach did not have any agent and the football association also did not have any agent. I want to repeat that. Repeat. There are no agents involved. There was no agent for the association and there was no agent for the coach. We went directly and dealt with the coach. This is important to us and it's also important to the coach. So together we all insisted that it should be in the contract and it is in the contract. Okay. So linked to the agency is another clause which says that should a coach be found to be dealing with an agent or intermediary for players is a ground for termination and there are consequences. So it's also in the contract. So we are very clear about this particular topic. Again, I want to make it very clear that unlike the previous contract, this time around, the coach will pay his own interpreter. So that's also very clear, which is also good for us. It will be part of the team, and so like every member of the team, if we travel with the, uh, he travels with the team, of course, same as every member who travels with the team, he will have a room, and then he will work uh, as normal, as uh, all the members of the team. I think I'll end here by saying that all the other terms are the same um, as has been provided in other contracts, and we've worked very hard to ensure that um, we've reached this agreement, even though it was a tough bargain, and Coach and his lawyer are tough customers, but um, we have an agreement and uh, both parties have signed, and so we are extremely grateful that we could reach this agreement for us to be here today to unveil the coach. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, um, General Secretary. Before the coach speaks, let me just say that uh, Coach Millivan and his team arrived in Ghana on Sunday evening. On Sunday evening, um, obviously, um, to continue with the, with the process. In between time, he started to work. And I'm happy to say that Coach Milovan has in his custody video footages of all the 10 games that the Blasters have played. He's watched all the games. I think tonight he's watching the games from the U20 tournament. That tells us that he's already started working, even before today's event. Taking note of the fact that we have two weeks to the all-important two duels against Zimbabwe. So coach arrived in Ghana on Sunday. Whilst he continued to engage, he started looking at footages from all the previous engagements by our black stars. And I'm sure that when we line up again against Zimbabwe in Cape Coast, our black stars will be ready.
we are super happy that we found our man. We are very grateful that he agreed to come, even though the terms were not what he would expect. But one thing that he's always said is that he, has, he feels he has unfinished business here with Ghana. And that is the biggest motivation for him and his team. And for who he is and for what he has achieved with Ghana, we firmly believe that this is not Matra Makwe. Attitude. He knows our food. For which reason, we firmly believe that we have the right man in place. We have the right team in place to support him. In Maxwell Kunedu and Alto Ado, Richard Kenston and the rest. And with your undiluted support, we firmly believe that the team would achieve its desired target. I'm sure if I were to go around, everybody has an opinion as to who should be the coach of Ghana. Everybody here has an opinion. Everybody here would have a different opinion as to why Mr. A must be and why Mr. B must not be. But please, my appeal to everybody here is that we have a coach in place. A coach who is very experienced, a coach who knows our country, who knows our mentality, which is very, very crucial, and a coach who has the respect of our players, and a coach who controls that dressing room of Ghana. We shouldn't forget Kevin Barton was here, Sule Montari was here, Michael Essien was here, Stephen Apia was here, Anthony Anna was here, Olele Kingston was here. They all played under him. They all shared that dressing room. That's a big step. So let's all give the new team the support they need. We all have our opinions. I keep saying this. I've had different levels of commentaries. Whether we should drink Milo or we should drink Soboro. But we have Milo on the table. That's what we have to drink. Beyond this, we only have one Black Stars. Let's start thinking it can be done. Let's stop doubting the process. The new journey starts from today. Let's show positive energy towards the team. Oh, honey, I'm talking to you, Brenya. It's you I'm talking to. I hope you listened. <laughs> I took you by surprise. Let's be positive towards our black stars. It's all that we have. Let's not be quick in spewing out negative stories. Let's be supportive of our national team. If we do well, and if we qualify to the Mundial, all of us will enjoy from the multiple benefits that the Mundial comes with. Because I know everybody here wants to be in Qatar. That's why we have to change the language. Positive energy. 
Let's try to believe that it can be done. Whatever has happened yesterday is gone. Can you bring me the footage again? Lights off, please. The days we thought we could even win the World Cup. But for Suarez, we want to go back to those days. But before that, we need positive. to him. I'm sure some of you have loads of questions. I know Sadiq, is that Sadiq? You will have some good questions. Muftar will have some good questions. But let me say to Sadiq and Muftar, don't doubt the process. Don't laugh. Don't doubt. All of us here have opinions. All of us here have opinions. All of us here have opinions. You may be right in your opinion, but that, no, no, that may not be our opinion. That doesn't mean we are wrong. If we make it to the Mundial, Muftao, you want to be there. You'll be more motivated to go to the Mundial if we make it. Let's support the cause. Thank you very much. Thank you, the media. I think that, uh, by and large, you've been very supportive. I mean, we can never be perfect. Criticism is allowed. But there are a lot of positive news around football in Ghana. So thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the coach to address the gathering. Coach Milovan Raiva, over to you. Uh, Uh, I remember the first time I came here 13 years ago, I promised that I would do anything in my power to, that I would use my experience and knowledge to take Ghana to the World Cup. And I was the happiest man after we succeeded. And I hope that we can achieve great things again. Uh, once again, I'm really ecstatic to be here and I appreciate the opportunity to be here among you and I'm looking forward to a good cooperation with everybody here. I want to thank, thank the GFA for giving me this opportunity and people trusting in this idea. Uh, 
To je moj najveći uspeh, vaš najveći uspeh, zajednički uspeh. Svi smo dali sve da bi došli, da nije bilo Suareza, možda bi uzeli svjetsko prvenstvo. Jer smo bili ponos cijele Afrike. These videos bring great memories uh, and this was the biggest success of Ghanaian football and biggest success in my career. So I'm, I was very happy to share this success with you and um, absolutely uh, if uh, Suarez didn't uh, do what he did uh, maybe we would have been the champions of the of the world. Okay. What I can say now? I can say that we will do it about football and when I said in the beginning of the last campaign that we all have to work together uh, GFA technical team players media and supporters last time we did it because we supported each other and we did it together all of us I believe if we can try this time if we believe that we can achieve it and put all our resources for the same goal everything is possible okay so um Um, Milo, welcome back to, yes, to the country. Um, first, what influenced your decision to leave the Black Stars job when the national team was at EC Apex? A job you personally achieved. And the World Cup qualifiers, do we have our squad ready for the upcoming game? Because we are barely two weeks away. Okay, Imamo f, dosta, dosta toga treba da se uradi da bi, da, bi, da bi ostvarili naše cilje, ali nadam se zajedno da ćemo to uraditi. Uh, of course, uh, last time when I was here, it was a similar situation. The qualification campaign was already started and it was a big question whether Ghana can achieve qualification or not. Uh, Luckily for all of us, uh, we all put our all efforts and we had immense support from all sides and uh, uh, we proved, the players and uh, everybody proved that it was quite achievable and this is the same situation. We know that there is a big task ahead of us, 
but we are up to the task. We know what has to be done, and with all of your, of your support, if we put our best effort, I think it's uh, quite possible to achieve our target. Pa dobro, zna se da sam radio ovaj, kad mi jeste kao ugovor mjesec dana i došlo je tu do nekih problema tako da jednostavno da sam, da sam ovaj, posle tolikog uspjeha eto, otišao da nisam ostao tu ganje. Ja, to je bilo veliko pitanje u prvijek. Situacija nakon uh, moj desijer je da učinu moj uvijek here i uh, GFA je tako učinu good faith and intention, but some other things happened to me privately and influenced my decision at that time. So uh, we split our ways, unfortunately, but we should leave the past in the past. Uh, I, I worked one month without a contract uh, with a good intention to, to extend my contract at that time, but uh, as I said, uh, we should leave past in the past and we should look for the future and uh, try to concentrate on good things and try to achieve the, the best, what is the best for Ghana. Because we have two weeks before our next game and every next match is the most important. So completely our focus is on the next match. Benjamin Nketia, CTFM, CTTV. Um, question goes to the GFA. Um, what convinced the FA that Milo was the best candidate for the job? Because if you look at his record after he left Ghana, it's not necessarily been sparkling. And second question, um, you did say that everybody is on the same page as far as the hiring is concerned. We received a statement from the ministry yesterday on some disparities with regards to remuneration. What can you tell us with regards to the relationship of the GFA and the ministry in this hiring process? Hello, hello. Okay, so there's, there's no ambiguity at all. Um, uh, figures have been discussed. The ministry is briefed. Hence, this presser. Um, we've had an amazing relationship with the sports ministry, and especially with the sector minister. I think that uh, since he came into office, he's been very, very supportive of, 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 of what we are doing here because he believes in the leadership of, of football in this country. Um, there's no ambiguity at all. Right from here, we are going over to the sports ministry to do a formal introduction of the new tanker team, and then we will we'll be okay to go. Um, the figures are not hidden. The official figures is what has been made public here. Forget, forget about all the rumors. Um, the coach is here. We've been able to do perhaps one of the best deals ever for the Football Association. Um, under very, very difficult circumstances. Um, okay. Um, why You ask why we chose Milo? Because he's been the best for Ghana so far. And the fact that coaches, uh, coach will lose a job doesn't make him a bad coach. I mean, uh, uh, Rafa Banetes went to China. He's back in Everton. Is that not correct? Yes. So it doesn't mean for... for, for for, for Ghana, the best coach ever to have coached our country that I remember is this man who is on my left. Okay? He took us to the apex of world football. Everybody in Ghana respect him. The players respect him. So for us, it was just simple to say that we want Milo. And we are glad that Milo also agreed to be with us. Hi. Right. Good afternoon. My name is Tohene Bampo Benya uh, from Happy FM and ETV Ghana. I have two questions. One is to the president. Yes, sir. I believe the process. I trust the process. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I have two questions. One to the FA president and one to the coach. Uh, the first one, would Milo stay at Alisa throughout his stay in Ghana or he would occupy the official residence provided by the state at the airport? Coach. To you, are you open to management committee members and FA officials suggesting to you? I'm not saying interfering, and I'm choosing my words carefully. Suggesting to you, players to use, collapse, 
and even officials of the FA. Thank you very much. So, and so the FA has engaged the coach. The coach has to be provided with accommodation, and the FA will provide the coach with a decent accommodation so you have the peace of mind. He will not live in the hotel. Thank you. Okay. Naravno da ću razgovarati sa svima, sa komitetom i menadžmentom, ali zadnje osluke donosim ja. Znači, zadnje odluke, ja sam za to zadužen i ja sam odgovoran za to. Of course, it's important to have good communication with the management of the GFA and I'm always ready to talk about everything, uh, of course, uh, about the players, and uh, uh, I'm open to hear ideas. This is how I work. But at the end, when it comes to the decision who will be uh, invited for the team, this is my decision because it's my job and I'm responsible. So at the end, uh, about the collapse, decision is mine. Thank you. Um, my name is um, Sadiq Adams. I work for Angel Broadcasting. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fred, President, for the riveting inspiration. It was supposed to be a speech, but uh, welcome back, Milo. And thank you for the memories. Looking through your profile, a lot of the golden moments, your playing I mean, career and managerial career, a lot of the golden moments has got to do with Ghana. Uh, very little, even after you left. Uh, would you be glad to point out some of the challenges I mean, you've encountered making you basically unsuccessful, even at um, club sites um, since you left? Yeah. And we understand that you've been here, like President confirmed, since Sunday, even before the government approved your appointment. Uh, were you that desperate to come to the country and finish your agenda like you said you had an unfinished business with Ghana were you desperate even when you were working with other countries to come back to Ghana sigurno da evo kao i sad prilika je velika ići na svetsko prvenstvo tako da U mom radu posle bilo je dosta, dosta uspeha, ali nije na ovom nivou, znači nije na većem nivou da sjedi na svetsko prvenstvo i na kontinentalne kupove. To sam imao priliku sa Ganom i to sam ostvario. Evo i sad se, najviše sam došao zato što je novo svetsko prvenstvo, da se kvalifikujemo i da ova prečka uđe u gol i da uđemo u polufinale. Thank you. Uh, it's very difficult to compare, you know, if you can say unsuccess or not, but you know, it's very difficult to compare this success with anything else. It's hard for many coaches to achieve this. So I wouldn't say it's unsuccessful, you know, these are, uh, whenever I worked, I produced some results and uh, it's for the other people to judge, you know, it's very difficult to say from this position that you are in. Uh, there were many improvements and many, 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 many things, but uh, it would be unfair to say about the obstacles that you can uh, come across very often in this kind of job. So um, I'm proud of this success and I was not desperate, you know, but I was happy to get this chance because I feel this uh, country is like my second home, you know, because I had a great experience here. And uh, as I said before, qualifying for the World Cup is the, and being there is great. So when you get a chance like that, especially to work with the people you know and the uh, mentality that you understand, and I know how much Ghanaians love football, how much they are passionate. This is something that you cannot see at many other places I went to. So 
uh, this is something that everybody would like to repeat in my shoes, you know. So something that was really great and uh, the opportunity to achieve something like that and even go further is something that is a challenge for everybody. And as I said before, I'm up to the task and I'm ready for the challenge. I'm motivated and, and happy to give my best. All right, good afternoon, Mr. President. Um, I have two questions, one for the FA and then one for the coach. Mr. President, um, over the years we've seen, sorry, my name is Samuel. Over the years we've seen FA, yes, please, yes, please. Over the years we've seen administration come into power, leave with the aim of winning a trophy for the country. I'm very young, I've never seen an account trophy before and I'm sure that all of us, just like what you've said, if we're able to get the good, um, the positive news out there, I'm sure something can happen. But my question is, what has been the clear plan? Because every coach comes in when they have qualifiers for the World Cup. I don't know the, the plan that they have in place. But what has been the clear plan? And my, coach, uh, my question to the coach is that, Milo, we have less than four months to the AFCON. And I'm sure based on what the um, General Secretary read for all of us here, we have less than four months to start the AFCON. You have been tasked to win it. Are you under pressure to win it? And the, the, our FA president said that you are right in the country on Sunday. You've gone through all the squad that we have. And one will argue that over the years, the squad that you met is not the same as today. So I'm asking that. Are you under pressure to win it? That's my question. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much. I don't know whether I clearly understood your question. Um, please, please, let's be straight to the point. Let's ask the questions as crisp as possible so that we can answer Okay. Um, I, I hope you're talking about a clear plan to ensure that we win an AFCON. Um, I mean, uh, first is to find the right personnel, which we've, we've been on the road. The right personnel, uh, by way of the Tenkral team, is one of the key reasons why we are here. In fact, it's the main reason why we are here. And for the Tenkral team to find the right players, to put a competitive in place, is for us also to provide all the off-pitch support that the team will need including but not limited to financial motivation, playing of friendly games, organizing good training opportunities for the team, and ensuring that the team is wholly competitive. That is a clear plan. And we've not deviated from the plan. We want to win. And it's the reason why we are here. We believe that we needed to change the pilot. We have changed the pilot. We believe that we have the right pilot now in place with the right support system. And we believe that our black stars will have a very, very stable character going forward. Our black stars will have a very, very stable character going forward. We have, we have six minutes to wrap up, please. Um, yeah. Svaka prva utakmica je najbitnija utakmica. Znači, mi se koncentrišemo za ove utakmice što dolaze sad. Za Afrički kup ostaje posle toga. Znači, koncentrišat ćemo se, radit ćemo kad to bude vreme. Znači, sada pravimo tim, sada pravimo igru i moramo što pre to napraviti. Otišli na svetsko prvenstvo bez primljenog gola, a dali smo sedam golova. Nadamo se da će i sad biti tako. As you said, Afcon is in four months, but we have our most important match in two weeks. So, this is how I work. The next match is the most important match for me. So we shouldn't forget about the qualifications for the World Cup. So let's take one step at a time. We are building the team. And when the time comes for the AFCON, of course, we can talk about this. So we are in a process of building team. And now our focus is our next match. And uh, we are thinking about the World Cup. If you remember last time we qualified after four matches with scoring seven goals without conceding any. So um, 
we were the first African country to qualify for the World Cup in 2010. So um, we want to take one step at a time. It would be inappropriate or unprofessional to think about what will happen in four months uh, due to uh, our duties here, we are expecting to play important matches very soon. So our focus now is on the World Cup qualification matches. Okay. My name is Harun Amuwarak from Joy Sports. Now my question is to Milo. Now predominantly in world football, uh, doom and gloom has characterized second comings. So how do you hope to change that narrative? And my second question is, how confident are you in this current squad? Because we have four matches remaining as far as the 2022 World Cup is concerned. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Stremit ćemo da, da dostignemo tu lestvicu. Drugo pitanje. Dobrih igrača mnogo ima. Uh, about the second coming, I don't know, if I, you know, the bar was set very high, but uh, we are here to make a history, you know. If you don't believe that, you cannot achieve anything. Uh, apart from that, I strongly believe in my players. I know how Ghanians are talented, and I know how much they can offer. And if they believe in me the way I believe in them. Okay, thank you very much, um, everyone. My name is Steve Losampa, representing GTV Sports Plus. Currently, we are live on air, the nation, and also online. Mr. GFA President and the GFA, when you assume power, you told Daniels to believe you and your team and believe in the process. When you touched the three-man team, you told the whole nation that we should give you three days to get us a coach. Why did it take so long for us to speculate and speculate for it to get to this time, even to the 11th hour for the Ministry of Fitness and Sports to give us a press release that they are not aware? Why that gap? And two, with your decision, this decision, is it not a slap on the face of coaches on the local scene? And for Coach Milo, your team that you used to play the one goal project for us, we have a different crop of players now. Are we still believing in you to do the same one goal project for us to win all that we need as a result? Is it the same players you're going to use or this crop of players you're going to use? Thank you very much. Uh, um, what's the name? Is it Emmanuel? My name is Theophilos from Theophilos, Ghana Television. Theophilos. Um, Theophilos. Um, Coach Milovan was last here in 2010, 13, what, 11 years ago. I, I doubt, I doubt that is the case. Okay, um, what is the other question? There has not been any delay. Uh, I don't know whether you were here at the start of this engagement, but the General Secretary went through the process went through the dates. Perhaps you missed it. But there's not been any delay at all. Not at all. For a recap, just listen to him again. So the, at the Executive Council meeting, the committee was tasked to bring a name of head coach and assistant coaches within three days. They presented that report within the three days. And if you look at the GFA website, we publish it. And we said that these are the next steps. And then we mentioned the next steps. That having found the coach, there will be internal alignment with relevant stakeholders. Very important. Then we said after that, the executive council would make a decision. It is after that decision that the General Secretary can then sign a contract as stipulated in our statutes. The General Secretary cannot just sign a contract without the approval of the Executive Council. It is the 
the provision and the power to appoint a coach is with the executive council. So the three-man committee will report to the executive council, internal alignment will be made, decision will be taken, signing of the contract, and then unveiling. So that is the process we publish. Now, journalists are at liberty. All right, so that has uh, been the unveiling of uh, Milovan Rajovac and, uh, you know, quickly after uh, the president of the Ghana Football Association announced uh, the second coming of Milovan Rajovac, uh, the uh, floor was open for a lot of the questioning and I'm sure you heard all of that. We are going to be getting into uh, some of those uh, very shortly before we do uh, get out of here. Kelvin Osman is still here with me. Kelvin, we, now we know that Milovan is going to be heading uh, the Black Stars. He's going to be assisted by Otuado and Max Okune. Do you think is the right mix for us? Well, uh, perfectly. I think that um, if you are looking for any uh, coach uh, for that is um, the uh, Serbian to trust, it can only be Max Oknedo when uh, we have sources uh, of information that could there is some pitfall anyway. So we've got this already before the decision. Thank you very much. Um, what is a slap? There's a man here called Maxwell Kunedu. Is he not a coach of the Black Stars? There's another. is the top most and of our football association the blast that for every national team we have two assistant coaches not one that that used to be there's more opportunities for our coaches currently we have a fully functional technical directorate it's for our coaches this is not a picture of an FA who doesn't believe in our local coaches Otoado is a Ghanaian Master Kunedu is a Ghanaian. CK Akono is a Ghanaian. Kwesi Apia is a Ghanaian. And you are a Ghanaian. I hope you will be a good coach in future. Yeah, thank you. And Milo is, says he's a Ghanaian. Pa prosta je računica, u stvari vi ste taj projekat nazvali 1-0, ali prosta je računica, 5 puta po 1-0 to je 15 bodova, a jednom 5-0 i 4 poraza to je 3 pojena. Računica je čista, znači živi se od rezultata. Sigurno da svojim igračima nikad ne kaže me da je 1-0 i da pravim takvu kombinaciju ali jednostavno e, tako se desilo i vidite kakve smo rezultate imali e,
order to score one goal and stop. You understand? So, uh, this is very. I, I mentioned once that I prefer five victories, every victory 1 0. It's 15 points. You know, then to win one match 5 0. Of course, I would like my boys to score as many goals as possible. This is normal. So, uh, that's why this is going to be the goal in every next match. So, we will not obstruct ourselves in terms, okay, let's score one goal and defend. We didn't do that. So this was just circumstances. If you look at the, when you play the matches at the highest level, you have to be cautious and smart. So at the end, it's important for you to win, to get points or to go to the next stage of competition. So this is always our primarily target. So I hope our boys will score as many goals to make everybody happy. Okay. Yeah. yeah, my name is Wallace from MGL. As part of come back, uh, what is the surety that he's not going to do the same? And did he ever th uh, thought of a day like this again with Ghana? And does he think that? He needs to render an apology to Ghana after leaving us in 2010. Okay, so um, the two assistants, I don't have their permission to reveal, and, and that's the only reason why I would not reveal. Milo, one, you noticed that I said, with his permission, um, I, I will reveal. Okay. Okay. The interpreter will be paid by the coach. I've said it already. I've said it. Can I say it also? Pa dobro, posle svjetskog prvenstva ja sam radio mjesec dana bez ugovora. Jednostavno desile se takve situacije da sam morao da odem i jednostavno tako je bilo. Nadam se da će sad biti drugačije. I already explained recently about this. I worked one month without a contract, which showed my intention. So my contract was already expired. So I don't know why should I apologize about Posle svjetskog prvenstva, mnogo vas je pitalo da li samo ova džan treba da se izvine što nije dao gol iz penala. You remember, after the World Cup, many people asked should a samo džan apologize for not scoring that goal. So, for us, you know, this question is, you know, something that shouldn't be asked, something like that. It just shouldn't be polite at all. in the Ghana Premier League place in the Black Stars probably your starting lineup. What will guarantee my question is what will guarantee a player in the Ghana Premier League a place in the Black Stars and probably even your starting lineup? Pa znate, prošli put da je bilo mnogo igrača koji su pozivani iz domaćeg, čak smo i vodili lokalnu reprezentaciju i dosta igrača je napravljeno. Tako da, samo njihovi nastupi, samo da nas ubjede da je to to, sećate se 
a pije, kako sam ga iz prvenstva na prvoj utakmici stavio u prvih 11, kad niko nije verovao, on je bio najbolji na terenu. Only their performance. Their performance will recommend them. The performance is what will recommend them to be selected in the team. So every Ghanaian is able to play for the national team. And that's how they should think about that. Uh, I and my assistants will make sure that we see, watch, you know, have reports uh, and cover this so we can pick the best of them and give them chance. Players talk on the pitch. Mr. President. of a club. The technical director of an association is a creation of FIFA. In fact, it's one of the positions demanded by FIFA. Technical director, general secretary, and there are a few positions that FIFA demands. The role of the technical director is development. The head coach's role for the national team is results. So, I've heard people talk about the technical director in a different way, as if he plays a very uh, major role in the national, senior national team. The technical director's role is development up to the youth level. In meetings that the GFA requires technical input, the technical director gives the input. We've not said anywhere that the tanker director did not give an input or gave an input. So to premise the question on the fact that why didn't you involve, that is to assume that the tanker director's view was not taken at all or was taken. So I will share the role of the tanker director to the media because we know by seeing some of the media people do not. From FIFA, the tanker director would have a relationship with the senior uh, teams hello my name is Yawan Pofo Jr. Um, I'd like to ask coach this question please um, last question um, I want to ask Coach Milo, what new outlook would you be giving to the Black Stars from the last one we saw in 2010, from 2008? What new outlook would you give to the Black Stars? And then, has your philosophy of football changed 